So it seems like someone is realizing a truth, but not really wanting to see it. Someone could still be in denial about the chaos and the trauma bond that they created. I feel like this is someone who knows that something is off because they know they try to abuse their position, torture or punish you. Now someone is curious. Curious about what is hidden. Someone is thinking about how you feel or if you're hiding your emotions. But regardless of the fact, someone knows that your guard is up. This is someone who knows that there is an intense shift here. Someone knows that you're not in the mood. Something has gone blank. I feel you could be manifesting while someone is trying to forget something. I feel this is someone who is not following the signs, not seeing the signs. This energy is coming out as lost and avoiding something with you. This energy is also wounded after raising hell and abusing their position. This energy is coming out with many faces. This energy is coming out with many faces when it comes to the chaos they try to create. This energy is wounded and coming up short, but still thinking deeply about something, not wanting to see a truth. For many of you, this is someone who doesn't want to be in a space where you get the best of them. This energy is coming out in a space of unrest, not knowing whether they should trigger you or come closer to you. This energy feels like they're cut off from their chances or their opportunities. This energy is coming out as a fool. Someone who is acting holier than thou when they know how they treated you. I feel this is someone who is stuck between moving on and being trapped by the past. This energy wants to reach out, but they know they just can't show up. This energy believes just showing up will just be a complete nightmare. I feel this is someone who has had a heart of glass with you, not really choosing you. Someone left something behind, had fake smiles. I almost feel like this energy may have cursed themselves by how they choose to treat you because of the many faces that they choose to wear. Something has gone too far or that chapter is now over. Something new is about to begin. I feel this is someone who is avoiding avoiding something that has left them wounded. Hmm. Someone's still not following the signs and this is why they're lost when it comes to manifesting something big with you. This energy wants to reflect but someone knows that they went too far when it comes to torturing or abusing their position when it comes to this trauma bond. Wow. I feel there's an intense change for you. Hmm. But I feel, for many of you, you feel like this energy has lost no sleep over what they are choosing to avoid. For many of you, there is a lack of sleep. But I feel this is someone who has lost no sleep over the madness that they have created. But I feel due to their madness, I feel it has opened up something. Opened up a, a challenge or a portal to someone's make-believe someone has a lack of reflection while you are stepping into blessings someone is still mixing themselves up or still mixing up the details not seeing how crazy they are someone is not wanting to reflect on what they have said or even done but i feel no matter what they think or believe something is brewing i feel this is someone who never thought that they would have to come crawling back or reflect on the madness, the chaos, but I feel something has caused a ripple effect hmm. that's causing someone to reflect on you. I feel someone is mixing something. Something is brewing when it comes to someone who is still casting spells, still not being truthful. I feel this is someone who feels like you will never love them the same, so they would rather you fear something, fear them. But I feel this is someone who thought that they were one step closer to riding something out or enjoying the ride. Someone was not worried, not seeing the signs or even hearing the warnings. But I feel when you fail to react, 
someone was dumbfounded. Wow. So I feel like your reaction or the lack thereof caused someone to take a step back and reevaluate some things. I feel this energy is coming out as wounded, punishing you for, for some things that you never took place in. But I feel this is someone who wears many faces and plays many roles. And this is why someone is insecure when it comes to you. I feel you're coming out as coming from a very authentic space. I feel that is also annoying this energy because they're not wanting to be affected by you. Hmm. I feel someone has no choice but to understand what was given by you won't be given again. This energy is coming out as someone you won't trust or you don't trust. This is why someone is dumbfounded, believing now time is up. Someone thought something would be temporary when it comes to the chaos that they created or you holding them to a standard. Someone feels like you're punishing them. It's an eye for an eye. Something is now still because of someone's cold heart. I feel someone left something behind, neglected something with you, and now it's just coming back. I feel like something could be coming back full circle for someone who didn't see you as a blessing. Now, due to their failed attempt or your resilience, fear is no longer looking the same. I feel someone thought that something was going to shake or break you, but I feel hmm, whatever they were waiting on, hmm, whatever this energy was waiting on is now become a burden or a place of resentment. As someone was hoping that you were in a space of fearing them, someone is thinking that something may be Maybe in a space of never changing, someone feels like something is uncertain due to a third party, an unfair situation or judgment. Someone stopped reaching out to you. So someone knows they were wrong or gave you unfair judgment. And I feel they stopped reaching out, blaming it on a thir third party or even you. Someone is avoiding you because of their chaotic ways. I feel this is someone who can be very sneaky, a false prophet, someone who is gaslighting you, someone who never thought things would be so crucial or take this long. Wow. But now that something has become long term, someone is thinking about the cause and effect of betraying you, being sneaky, or wanting you to fear something about their issues or the things they have said and done. I feel this energy was trying to play it cool and not reaching out or texting you, but now this energy feels there's a sense of anxiety that they feel they can't breathe. They know they screwed things up because now you could be protecting your heart or they feel like they no longer have the key. I feel this is someone who is now bored with whatever they feel trapped or bound by. Because now they could be waiting for a chance to check on you, but they also feel cautious. They also feel they no longer have it right. Someone feels like you could be cautious with them as well. This is why they feel like Whatever emotions they thought that were tied to this is no longer tied. This is what's causing someone to be more curious about you. They feel something is just not right. Someone was wishy-washy. Someone knows that you know the truth about something. And they feel like they've already lost you. This is why they're trying to invest in other things or people. But I feel they're about to learn it's just an empty investment. This is someone who is juggling options or so they think, but I feel this is someone who already knows they messed up, and this is why they're sitting in a space of uncertainty, believing that you are cautious or over making something right with them. Someone is just too proud to admit how destructive they were or the fact that they were even in destructive mode, but I feel someone was just waiting on you to make a move so they continue to play games. I feel in so many ways someone is starting to feel bad because now that you have grown or changed from the time they have wasted, someone is realizing they just might be a thing of the past. Let's get some more energy here. Final energy here from this deck. So I feel like this is someone who gaslighted you. 
they're coming out as a false prophet, someone who is being sneaky or trying to get away with something strategically. Someone is thinking or hoping that you were fearing speaking up or challenging them. So they stop re reaching out. So it seems like someone was trying to be strategic with you and control a narrative. And out of fear, they wanted you to stop speaking out or be in fear of speaking out. Someone's wanting you to be more cautious, but now they're feeling uncertain about gaslighting you or treating you in the way that they have because something has now become long term. I feel this is someone who never thought that things would be this way because they were waiting for a chance but now that something has faded out someone really feels they should just keep moving on, stick to the script even though they know they really screwed something up. This is someone who is not wanting you to know how affected they truly are when it comes to this facade, but I feel there's a lot of tension when it comes to things that were lost or gained behind the scenes, especially when it comes to third party energies, th things and people they thought that they could trust is now falling through. Someone is definitely in an unhealthy attachment or relationship, and they're just putting on a show wanting you to believe that they're content with their choices when they're truly avoiding and hiding the truth. This is someone who misses you in a big way, but they are still going round and round when it comes to the evidence they believe that you have. <sighs> wow. Someone knows they can't make something work, so they're deflecting, hoping you won't speak up about how they deceived you. Someone has shut you out. <sighs> wow, so it seems like someone has shut you out because they don't want all of what they have done and what they have said to be brought up again. Someone doesn't want anyone else to know the truth and they don't want you to know the truth or be clear about the truth so they could be harboring ill will or harboring feelings about you that shouldn't be there. For many of you, they may even need your help or your comfort, your love, but they're acting cold. I feel this is someone who is acting cold even though they know they owe you so much more. They shut you out, acting reckless, because they believe love is somehow a double standard. This is someone who is still putting on some type of show when they should be cautious. I feel this is someone who should be cautious about being a false prophet, putting on a show, a facade, because they're not being themselves. This is why they're indecisive. Hmm. And for some of you, they may even deserve an Oscar for all the fronts that you're putting on because someone is definitely wishy-washy in and out. It almost seems like no one truly knows them because this energy really doesn't know who they are or even what they want. And the fact that you do, it really confuses them. It pushes them to a place where they're affected, not wanting to fall too deep. Someone is still sitting in a space where they're wanting to believe the facade or the illusion that they are investing in. I feel this facade is also creating or harboring some type of tension where everyone is affected. Hmm. But I feel everyone is affected because no one ever thought that you would win or be the last one standing. So it seems no one thought that you would have the last laugh and someone is having a good feeling that their deadly words or their true colors is causing a ripple effect. I feel it's causing a ripple effect when it comes to the aftermath of love or many of you not caring about the effects, the aftermath of what has happened, the unfinished business. For many of you, you have no, you're giving no chances when it comes to someone's abuse someone's abuse of power or abuse of words or a narrative. This is someone who thought they were a jack of all trades and they abused something. Now they feel something is forbidden. Hmm. 
they feel being around you or being next to you is it's not going to be easy they're worried about what's being said so it feels like someone is wondering what's being said and it's causing a ripple effect this is why someone is trying to pretend like something is not affecting their heart when I sense it's almost the only thing they think of I feel this is someone who thinks about what others what others are saying about them but I feel someone is definitely in their feelings silently crying because they know they are guilty as charged someone is also thinking about the skeletons in the closet someone is wanting to know what is being said about them because they know that you don't have to be around someone feels like you're in the energy of fuck love or fuck them the love that, the, that they gave wasn't real or a facade but this energy is all all in their head having a good feeling that the tension that was given in this connection with you is now the burden that they carry now. This energy is not realizing how deep something goes here. Someone knows that something is heavily wounded with you. Something knows that something isn't the same or something is off. But they also have a good feeling that they won't be able to bandage. Hmm. Bandage something going up in flames, a tower moment. Something is now a, a time stamp. Hmm. So it seems like someone knows that you have free will here. And I feel you setting sail or moving on has now become a time stamp. Especially when it comes to someone's rigid game. Someone thought that they were getting away in a situation, but now that things are revealed and tension has exploded behind the scenes, someone is feeling and thinking that you're the coldest one. Hmm. I feel this is someone who thinks you're being cold behind some heartache, but I feel this is someone who is all in their head about the rigid games they played, this facade, this illusion that has you in the energy that you're in now. But I feel this energy is still holding on despite what anyone thinks or even believes and even what you feel or believe, they still see you as a soul tie. I feel you got closer than anyone, got closer than anyone could ever get, but I feel someone already knows they're out of time or time has already been lost. As I said before, this energy caused some type of ripple effect. This is unfinished business where something can no longer be bandaged. Someone knows that the skeletons in their closet is being exposed. There are a lot of energies here that can see the truth. And this is another reason why someone is silently crying about being exposed or being the guilty one. I feel someone true colors are being exposed. And the fact that you walked away the way that you did it's now become a timestamp. This is something that someone will never forget, even if they wanted to. I feel this is someone who is so tied up in what others are thinking about them. They're not clear on the facts. They don't want to be clear on the facts because if they were, they would already be giving you what is long overdue. But I feel someone is so set on getting through or over. Hmm that they are not even realizing that the consequences of their actions have already created damage that cannot be undone overnight. I feel there is unfinished business when it comes to this energy. As I sense in many ways, things have yet to be laid to rest. So it seems like someone was trying to move on. This energy was trying to put something in the past but still not acknowledging a truth. Something could not be laid to rest. And this is what's causing stress, mental overload. This energy is needing some peace, but they can't find it. 
this is someone who is wanting to let go of something, let go of the old to bring in a new, but there's a lot of problems here. This is someone who's very stingy, not wanting to let go of something that needing that is needing to be let go. Someone is thinking about the wrong things, and this is why they're thinking about who's talking instead of making change. For many of you, you may even see this energy as bad news because of all the chaos they have brought in your life. I think this energy is thinking about who's talking because they know what they have said behind do closed doors or to others about you. This is why someone has made or created some missed opportunities. We have the Knight of Swords here in the reverse. Wow. As well as the Nine of Wands. Two of Pentacles as well. Hmm. There's so many cards here in the reverse. This is letting me know whatever took place here, it should have never taken place. Hmm. But now this energy is feeling that overload. Insurmountable problems here where someone is duty bound. So as I said before, this is someone who has many faces and plays many roles, but I feel they have done some things from a very low vibrational space and whatever they thought they were leaving behind has now been tainted because from what I can see there is only poverty hmm, due to their poor judgment mental stress, bad luck turmoil, chaos I feel it's all due to someone's arrogance, reckless ways daring the impossible hmm. someone was overly confident and showing off and this is why something went too far I feel this is someone who was disconnected to the connection they had with you. Here with the Two of Cups in the reverse, someone is in a space where they thought they would never feel that regret of what they hmm, refused to acknowledge or believe. Because someone definitely thought they were getting away with something strategic here. We have the Seven of Swords here in the reverse, as well as the Two of Cups. The deck is not in reverse. Someone knows that you were generous. You are very generous within this connection, but someone just couldn't give in to the blessing. So I feel like there are a lot of energies here that see you as a blessing, but the fact that you have found a way to move forward or cleanse yourself of something that was holding you back has definitely caused a lot of people to take some things back or regret the words that they said or invested in about you. I feel these are energies who don't have a main foundation that will soon find themselves in a sense of regret. I feel these energies are wanting to turn over a new leaf with you because they know how generous you you can be. Uh, but I feel something has been let go. Something has gone too far and many of you have moved away from that space of generosity. I feel for many of you, you still have an open heart, but you still have an open heart to someone's change. And due to someone's low vibrational way, someone is still powerless to juggling the truth. Mm. Someone is having a space. This is someone without a space to really truly understand how deep something goes here. How broken something is, especially when it comes to hurting others because of their broken dreams and regrets. I feel this is someone who doesn't like to think about the offer that they rejected. Because they feel like it won't come again. So it seems like someone rejecting an offer from you is the reason something is now out of control. Something is now bad news when it comes to someone's worldly affairs. Wow. A tower moment. So because of this chaos, destruction, sudden upheavals and trauma in someone's life, something unexpected is about to take place. I feel it's due to someone's insecurities of something spiraling. Someone is going through a spiritual transformation and this is why there is endings. Harsh, painful endings of someone's life spiraling out of control. 
I feel like it's just someone who thought they had everything figured out. Even you. Now they're spiraling through their choices, trying to figure out how to justify their mistakes, their losses, their sacrifices, the fact that they are losing sleep or not wanting others to know about their unrest, but I feel their grief, it runs deep. I think this energy doesn't want you to know about their endings, their losses, their transformations, and the fact that whatever chaos they brought to your doorstep is still in their life. Someone is being judged, and I feel they're being judged heavily. They're just trying their best to weather the storm. For many of you, you feel like this energy isn't going through anything. There is no chaos or mishap in their life, but it is mentally, emotionally, financially, and so much more. There's so much chaos. I feel there's a battle going on in their mind, their soul, and even their spirit. And for some of you, even their health is falling apart. I feel for those who have played their game and invested in their lives, I feel they're also invested in their karma. This energy has challenged you when it comes to love. This energy has challenged life when it comes to tradition. And now they are vulnerable to giving up. So it seems like someone is in fear of change and this is why they can't communicate with you. Page of Swords is coming out in the reverse and it's because of their lack of planning and being defensive with you. They're bringing great disappointment to not only you but also to self and everything around them. A lack of emotion, losses, imbalance, a failure, justice being served because of indecision. Someone's trust should have never been broken. Hmm. Someone's feeling trapped, knowing that the trust that you once gave can no longer be given in the same sense. Because of what's wasted, someone is knowing they are fool. <laughs> someone knows that they are fool, but they are refusing to believe it. Someone is refusing how deep something goes or how vicious they were over time. I feel this is someone who is choosing to forget the details of how destructive they were, especially when it comes to you. I feel this is someone who was intimidated by your strength in so many ways, trying to break your strength. This energy ended up breaking themselves down. It seems like this energy is wanting to reinvest in you, but not really knowing how to speak up to you. I feel this energy has done so many things behind your back that they're paranoid about the extent to all you know. I feel there's someone who refused something with you because they're not sure of self. And for others, I feel like this energy has just gotten too comfortable with playing the victim. Yeah, this is someone who needs to do the shadow work, needs needing to cleanse energy, to cleanse themselves of a memory to gain a new perspective, but this energy is too insecure to do so. This energy is too insecure to lay something to rest, and this is why something fails to make sense, or something is failing to go into calmer waters. I feel this energy is angry. Angry, prideful, and procrastinating when it comes to their regrets, and even their choices. I feel this is someone who is blindfolded to falsehoods and lies and even third party energies. This energy is detached when it comes to a confession. I feel this energy is being immature about their regrets and this, this is why they are coming out as imbalanced and believing and investing in falsehoods because it's the only way to move forward. Hmm. So it seems like it's the only way someone can move forward knowing they were reckless and hurting and misjudging you. Because even if they're being immature about a confession, there is still guilt. There's guilt here, even if they are showing it or not. There's guilt when it comes to regrets or being imbalanced. Someone is being immature because they feel like it's what's hiding the regret, hmm. the guilt. The denial. Someone just doesn't want to face it. 
someone doesn't want to face how brutal they can be when they are feeling outnumbered when they feel something is not in their control I feel this is someone who is starting to settle in on the fact that they can't make this a misunderstanding this is why they want something to be a imbalance someone doesn't want to come out of hiding or doesn't want to come out of this facade this insecurity of choices someone doesn't want to come out of this blindfold because of their betrayals because of their betrayals someone has isolated themselves out of fear out of fear of everyone including you knowing and seeing the truth not even understanding something is already so painfully obvious. Wow. I feel like after things didn't go their way and everything fell apart, someone is starting to realize something just won't be easy. This is why they're staying blindfolded, not wanting to do that shadow work and gain that new perspective someone wants to be in denial. Someone is not wanting to see the truth because seeing the truth would cause them to be liable for all the things that they have done the negligence the misjudgment the fact that they have yet to give you a sentimental truth or apology someone just can't be honest someone knows their tears apologies and gestures of kindness will get them nowhere and this is why they're choosing to be in this space of denial resisting the fact that they were mischievous. Someone is numbing the lessons that should be learned. I feel this is someone who needs to learn lessons and find a sense of clarity, but they're not wanting to be vulnerable. Someone's not wanting to be vulnerable to the deceptions of them not being connected. Not being connected to healing, now justice, justice is coming into play. I feel there will be balance, even though there is no sorrow. I feel someone's holding on, holding on to secrets and bad behaviors because they're not going deep enough. I feel this is someone who knows there's unconditional energy between the two of you, only if they give in, but I feel they have become so accustomed to the comfortable space of trickery and lies, they have believed their own lies and nightmares. Mm -hmm. I feel this is someone who is yet to realize that the nightmare that they have created is something that is tied and bound in a way. Something that they will soon find is their base of fear. Something they need to surrender to and find a space of compromise. Someone is needing to sever what breaks them. But I feel they've gotten so comfortable isolating and numbing the pain. Someone is still not communicating with you. This energy is separate from you. Whether that is physically, mentally, emotionally. Someone is still not illuminated to their intuition and even loyalty to even give it to you. I feel this is someone who can't give you what they don't have and this is why they fear you. And another reason, they still fear self. Someone's fearing falling too deep, not measuring up, but I feel it will only lead to a space where giving in to you should have been the least of their worries. I feel this is someone who is still making choices out of anger and insecurities and even a sense of pride but as I said before it will only lead to a sense of regret for procrastinating when it comes to a confession. I feel this energy is still making indecisive decisions about loyalty, an ending where there's unresolved issues, unfinished business. I feel this is someone who is using time to misdirect something. I feel this energy is using time as a strategy because they don't want to tell the truth. 
So for many of you, this energy is angry because they know you seek the truth. This energy knows that the truth is the only way, but they're taking a risk when it comes to choices and pretending that they don't see something. Someone is procrastinating, hoping that time is helping them out, but I feel time is not on their side. I feel this is someone who has a lot of past trauma. There's a lot of secrets that many of you know or may not know about, but I feel this is what keeps them on the run and pretending to be oblivious, unaware, and blinded to the fact that they are not committed or loyal, just a manipulator when it comes to betrayal and heartbreak. Someone has been very careless and putting in no effort when it comes to being honest with you. I feel someone thought that they could dodge something and this is why they pretended to be unaware to a truth and also projecting that energy onto others. Pretending something was okay to treat you in a way. Hmm. Someone is trying to make something unbearable. So they were combative. Wanting to pretend you were making some type of issue here. Hmm. So it seems like someone was starting something. Because they didn't want the truth to be spilled. This energy didn't want any insight or any type of clarity. So they created this distance or they invested in it. I feel like this energy also claimed that you you made something a certain way or you're you're crazy in a way. Someone is really trying to predict some type of narrative about you so they don't have to tell the truth or deal with the truth. Someone is trying to take the coward's way out. Wow. I feel they're paranoid on the edge about what is being concealed so someone is being shady or stubborn about being fake pretending putting on some type of show an illusion so they claim you're being emotional or you're doing too much or you're some type of liability but i feel that the energy is truly embarrassed hmm. i feel like this energy is embarrassed triggered and offended because they know you see, hear, and speak the truth. Especially when it comes to a false environment, a third party, this energy is offended by the fact that you are not giving in or investing into illusion. Someone is going through a lot of losses, someone is embarrassed by it, and this is why someone is not speaking loudly about something. They're just in solitude not wanting to communicate because they know how chaotic things are or has been. I feel someone is holding something back and it's now become a burden because things have become so damaged. Wow. Things are damaged because they failed to compromise. Someone was holding something back, they abandoned something and now they're stressed about a transformation. Someone is definitely stuck in limbo, wanting to make inspired action, but they're paranoid. Paranoid about the truth. You seeing the truth, exposing the truth. Someone knows they took too many risks when it comes to you. And because they can't justify how they treated you, they could be telling a lot of lies just so they can cover the truth. I feel this is someone who is taking a risk on being secretive or misdirecting others out of insecurities but I feel many of you already understand what or who you're dealing with and for many of you regardless of an ending or unresolved issues you you've had enough you've had enough of someone's drama or private ways I feel many of you are investing into something else or you're just doing you I feel this is causing someone to finally reflect on the fact that they don't really have anything to hate about you or something could have been fixed by now but I feel this is someone who is just doing too much and they know they're just too old to be playing these type of games I feel this is someone who is hurt or they know you're hurt and you're cautious this is why someone is no longer trying to make some sense of something they're just trying to figure out a way out of something. 
So it seems like someone doesn't want you to fully move on, but they know that something is done because of their betrayal. I feel someone just doesn't have the strength to level up the way that you do. But I feel the fact that you are unbothered is really starting to get to them. I feel this is someone who should have never hated on you the way that they did, but I feel this transformation is definitely causing someone to see you in a different light. So someone wants to come your way, but they feel like they don't want you to think it's for a different reason. Hmm. But I feel you're about to be a big deal. Wow. Someone's going to really be in regret on how something ended or how they never really gave you the respect that you really deserved. I feel this is someone who is feeling boxed out or... You're no longer feeling boxed in. Please take it how it resonates, but someone failed to get the reaction that they thought they would get because you're healing or finding a sense of alignment, knowing that you have had no reason, someone had no reason for the hate or the hurt they caused. But I feel this is someone who never just never stopped. But I feel standing in your power does bring in a sense of justice. This is balance, as I said before. Many of you feel like life goes on, but I feel things will change. Whether you see it or not, someone will have to pay dues on the hurt and pain they have caused. You're coming out as a dreamer, a dream chaser. Hmm. Someone who is growing into something bigger and better. I see wealth coming your way or spiritual guidance. I see manifestation. I see you evolving and this is why someone has your name in their mouth. I feel you're taking a new path and have no time to waste on those who have already wasted their chances or even opportunities with you. I feel for many of you, you had to make some choices here. Some choices that would have never been made had this energy ne never played the the games they played or the hand they played with you. But I feel the fact that this energy is just too too old to play these games or too careless or too heartless to see a truth is the reason things had to go so far. Yet in the end, you were dealing with someone who would never tell the truth because it just ain't in them. It just ain't in them to tell the truth or even be invested in anything that could expose or even offend their agenda as they are definitely offended by the truth but I feel what they do think or feel could never change the truth of them living a lie. I feel this is someone who really doesn't want the truth to come out but it's coming out regardless. But I feel this is someone who is just so stuck in the past that they could never see the the wrong in their choices. Hmm. I feel this is someone who was so stuck on playing the victim. They couldn't see the wrong in the choices that they made. Or even the fact that they became an enemy through some unhealthy attachments. Or the fact that they were disconnected from a healthy mental space. I feel this is someone who was disconnected from a healthy mental space and they just became salty. Salty when it comes to their choices and affected when it comes to being lost, when it comes to a disconnected intuition. This energy became hot and cold because they couldn't understand their purpose. Hmm. So it seems like someone was playing dumb to the fact that they were a shapeshifter or they were never the same with you when coming and going in your life. But I feel they do have a fear, hmm. a deep fear of losing what is gained or what they thought they gained with you. Hmm. Yet they're too distracted to see the signs. Someone is too distracted to see the signs of their immaturity, causing many of you to move in silence. Someone is still not grounded in their intuition, still not grounded in the fact that you won't reconsider them coming back. 
I feel this is someone who can't ground themselves towards Virgo Capricorn because they're in a messy situation where it's one-sided. Hmm. So I feel there's a lot of intense emotion here where someone is praying you're still loving them from a distance. But I feel the fact that they can't get out of the choices they made is the reason they could be hiding from you. Because in many cases, I feel this imagery thought that you would always compromise or overlook things to keep the peace. Or somehow be the bigger person in this situation. But as I said before, this is someone who is disconnected from their intuition. And no matter what you do or what you say, it would always seem to fall on deaf ears. Someone's just going to have to learn the hard way because they're still not being honest. They're still not being honest and things are still not adding up. Someone is still lying behind the scenes hoping that someone and everyone or whoever is still believing their lies. Someone is still taking risks on secrets. I feel this energy is disconnected or not connected. This energy is all over the place coming out as a shapeshifter. Someone who is getting a taste of their own medicine now that the tables are turning this energy is holding on to your energy because they feel it's all they have left there's a lot of emotion here water sign energy cancer pisces scorpio that is not for everyone but this energy is definitely burnt out burnt out at the challenge of shape-shifting or being something that they know they're clearly not I feel this is someone who is taking on too many responsibilities. I feel their lives are starting to blow up in their face or their house of cards are now starting to crumble or fall down. I feel this is someone who is scattered and all over the place because something is left up in the air. It's starting to be challenging. They're under pressure. Air energy of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone is going through an ego death under pressure because they didn't trust the process someone didn't give in or they didn't surrender they allowed their pride to lead the way and now they have more than one issues and curious about you because you're no longer curious about them or your life is taking you in a different direction I feel something is about to come out of the blue when it comes to someone who has burned a bridge with you, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is someone who is very stubborn of their shapeshifter ways, but they're still shapeshifting and still trying to become whatever they need to become to get closer or have what they want. This is why they're all over the place and gaining too many responsibilities. I feel someone is health is a is being affected this could be mentally emotionally but i feel someone has broken their own heart by gaslighting you and giving a fake apology for many of you there is no apology here at all someone is just gassing you up but i feel many of you would rather they keep out many of you would rather they keep out if they can't keep the peace i feel this energy is all over the place because they don't know what to do with themselves this is why they're disconnected and going through so many changes. I feel this is someone who is in regret because something seems so final. It seems so dramatic. They almost sit in disbelief thinking things should have come together by now. But I feel someone underestimated you in a very big way. Now the scariest thing about accepting the silence and the distance is knowing eventually they'll be forgotten. This energy feels eventually you'll forget everything about them, even the details of the pain that they gave you, causing them to no longer have that trauma bond or that hold on you emotionally, as they start to wonder if they have made any imprint on your heart or on your energy, or if they're just a thing of the past. I feel this is someone who has become so disconnected from a confession that they have allowed their anger and their pride to lead their truth. Hmm. But I feel their truth is no truth at all. I just feel they're in a space where they're feeling overwhelmed. So it seems like them being disconnected is wanting them to or, or creating a space where they're wanting to connect. Hmm. They're inspired to do so reconnect with you 
but I feel it's only because they are feeling overwhelmed by their many choices or the choices that are now catching up to them. I feel this energy is starting to feel embarrassed how they pushed you away or tried to shift the narrative. They're now be becoming worried, frustrated, knowing they're at fault for the change. They're also in a space of being defensive because they're unsure. So someone's defensive, irritated, unsure, someone's frustrated and mad, offended by the challenge, someone's exhausted that you have cut them off or you won't play the game. I feel it's only causing them to feel powerless and unwanted. Someone is shook that they're under pressure and things are now complicated. This energy is compelled to stop being petty with you. They're getting all the signs to do right or do better, but I feel it always seems this energy lets you down because they can never be stronger. It almost feels like your prayers have gone unanswered, but I feel you're just dealing with someone who is hard-headed and refusing to comply and go in flow or get in flow with a few ancestors who still bother with them, but this energy is still not inspired by change. Because even you going above and beyond still never provoked or inspired them. Because they're too disconnected. Too, too disconnected and unhealthy to change. Stuck in their ways. Someone is still missing you, but not desperate enough. Not yet. I feel there's a lot going on when it comes to this energy. And even if things are not the way they used to be, they sure do pretend that nothing has truly changed. You ever feel the real reason they're not wanting to deal with you is because they're not really sure how to come at you. I feel this is someone who is disconnected from the person that you are now. Still connected to the person you used to be. Someone still making bad choices when it comes to you. Even though they know they misunderstood you from the jump. I feel this is someone who is now being humbled. Humbled by their heartless ways, their conniving heart. I feel this is someone who is now in a mood that they have become sensitive. Sensitive and trapped by their own guilt or the fact that they allowed you to slip away. They're still trying to justify that. Hmm. Someone's still trying to justify the fact that you cannot be fooled or they can't run game on you as I sense they are going through some type of situation where they're still justifying letting you go or pushing you away. Someone is still disconnected from that. I feel this is someone who was very abusive in this situation and this is why something seems so heartless. But I feel someone is unstable and trapped by their own guilt, their own troubles, their own abusive ways someone's still making excuses because they're afraid someone's afraid of facing the truth and this is why it feels like they're a coward someone doesn't want to be seen as a parasite a sponge someone who is useless this energy is manipulating a truth and pretending it's their ambitious ways but i feel the way they have chose to do something with you just might be unforgivable this energy has been very vindictive due to their unstable ways, but they're pretending that it's all what they have been taught. But I feel it's all what they have mixed up themselves that has caused their mixed up or fixed mindset. Wow. I feel this is someone who has done some very unforgivable things when it comes to tradition and rooted values. I feel this is someone who's done some things to trust that many of you will never forget. These are things that this energy should be ashamed for. These are things they should carry some type of humiliation or guilt for. But this energy is still being a traitor or being rebellious, dismissive, avoiding something out of disdain. For many of you, you feel like you're dealing with a narcissist. And for others, you're just dealing with a liar. For many of you, you're dealing with someone who hopes you forget the details of the past. Yet I sense it's your next step. That's your best step 
that's going to have everyone regretting their choices and the chances they took with you. As your next step, your new chapter, your unbothered energy truly humbles those who now feel or will soon feel invisible to you, not realizing they should have never taken a chance on hurting or disappearing on you. I feel someone has no shame for the lies they have told, but I feel it's the very thing that traps their soul. But as I said before, someone will be humbled. As someone will be humbled and this is why they're feeling overwhelmed stuck in their own ways of insecurities someone's heartless ways will soon inspire change or inspire a ruthless chain of events that will soon humble them i feel this is someone who's on the defense because they know what is heading their way they're just not wanting to tap into it they're being surface level shallow empty and, sur and superficial Someone is on the defense because they're, they know how offensive they are. Someone is heartless, but they know that they were heartless with their words and their disrespect. Someone knows they took something too far, but they never knew how things would end up. But I feel... Things are lost and faded not because you don't care, it's because you started to realize that they don't. This is why someone is afraid and becoming sensitive because what they try to justify, they know is unjustifiable. This is someone who doesn't want to become just a memory or even worse. Yet, unfortunately for them, they tend to bring out the worst in those who only want the best for them. But I feel, due to their lies and dismissive ways, their manipulation has definitely gotten the best of them. I feel this is someone who can be very sneaky. And this is why their backstabbing ways are, are not fooling anyone. Mm. This energy was trying to be self-loathing. They were trying to play the victim. But they know something is their fault. Because they're worried. Even though this energy is worried. Something is agonizing. They're still complacent. They're not moving. Someone is just too proud. Too proud to beg. Too proud to move. Too proud to move first. And this is why you're getting nowhere. With someone who is still hoping that you lose sight of something. You lose sight of how toxic they truly are. Because you're dealing with someone who is toxic, selfish, and fearing the worst of being vulnerable. So, they're not letting anyone in. And it's all because of their fears and phobias. That's only making them more angry, aggressive. Maybe even bipolar. Many of you are worried about someone's mood swings because they're always in a mood or moody. But it's their conniving ways that keep them lost and scattered, prideful, too proud to, too proud to conform, big, compromise. Someone is not giving in when it comes to rooted values and tradition. But as I said before, it's the very reason they're in a season of exposure deep sacrifice because I feel someone is about to see a root of truth as there are so many things that could have been said or so many things that could have been done but someone chose a very heartless way out when it comes to choices someone made a mockery of something but I feel whatever they made a mockery of has now become their irony hmm. I feel there is many reasons this energy is truly going through, going through cycles of draining and exhaustion, just things that this energy never expected to go through at this time in their life. This energy is going through it. But I feel some of these trials, these changes, these mistakes, it has to take place. Because without the losses and the trials, they still be playing games or thinking they're getting away with it all as it seems to me someone had to lose you 
so they can realize that life isn't a game. Let's just hope this energy's first step to glory is realizing when they're holding a losing hand. I hope you guys have enjoyed the reading.